you were making the point about judges. I've always felt that judges wield so much power for so long, especially the the federal judges, right? Yeah. Such an extended career on the bench. Yeah. Um, it slowly moves them off the human condition. Right. Like they, they begin to feel less and less. I mean, I'm sure they don't feel less human, but <laughs> their views on the world become so different because they've been unquestioned for so long. Right. And right. it, you, you get funny questions like, oh, okay. Are we? We're good. I'm here. We're good. Okay. I had something pop up there. You, you get funny questions like, why didn't your client do this? Like, well, judge, first off, that's not, it's not what we're here for. Second off, um, because my client's not an attorney, right? Like, what are we, what are we talking about, judge? We, we're going to apply this this standard of like perfect logic to a, a person who's on the job getting sexually harassed like why would why would you think she would be perfect she's going through yeah. things she's making snap decisions she's under stress and trauma like why would you think that she would just perfectly document everything like what do you what do you mean why didn't she you, you know and it's it's strange because you can look at the judge's face and, and see they mean it they're like they want to know why would you not judge because she's got kids to feed she's worried about losing the roof over her head what do you there's there's a million one thoughts in that person's head and none of them are this is my first time having this problem i should be perfect right like it doesn't it doesn't make sense to me um which is not to say i, I appreciate judges a great deal i've had a i've had judges do amazing things for me frankly i had a client years ago who didn't want to pay their contingent percentage on a case and went into court and said some wild things. Like I like claimed I physically beat her up or settle her case. Like, right. I'm like, and the judge looked her dead in the eyes and said, yeah, it didn't happen. And I was just <laughs> like, nice. I was sitting there like, obviously it didn't happen. <laughs> her husband. Well, I don't want to, I don't want to. The spouse approached me in the hallway afterwards. Like, I am so sorry. And I was like, don't worry about it. I get it. I get like, I yeah, get she's it. She's still like, married. One of these in a lifetime. Now, so. <laughs> like, I'm not going to help you destroy my career, but you know, it is what it is. Um, but that judge was just so wonderful, but also just so dismissive. Right. Like what if, what if, what if this person hadn't been lying? Can you imagine judge just saying it didn't happen on the record? I, you know, I, like see, it happened. The judge was correct. Though, it didn't happen, favor. but Wow, I'm in favor know? of judges talking straight. I like it when they, I mean, I would rather hear it because you have the judges who are very, very quiet and you have no idea what they're thinking really, right? And then you're sitting yeah. there and you're trying to intuit, you know, and they're just stone cold, just taking the facts down, looking down, no emotion whatsoever. Is that really a person who's truly like better than somebody who just tells you straight up, no, yes, I don't think that's true, et cetera. I'd rather hear their thinking and then you can't really tell. And then in the back of their mind, they're just like, I don't believe anything or I'm siding with this side. I don't know. I guess it cuts both ways, but um, it did. It, I, I do think there is a problem and I don't know how to resolve it. That's why, again, I prefer juries about, yeah. you know, if we could have panels of judges in all cases, that'd be great. I could, impossible. I'm not, I'm not pretending that's ever going to happen. But I think there is something about this wisdom of the crowd. And, um, you know, the, 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 the judges just become isolated in their own thinking. They're, they're wearing clothes, which are different than all of us. They're physically, yeah. you know, 10 feet off the ground. So you're looking up at them like a king. And they're used to just saying, you know, for all the times you might see a courtroom case where the lawyers are kind of talking back to the judge, that seems to me fairly rare. I mean, maybe, maybe it does, I, I have seen it happen. It gets weird. I don't know what to think when it's going on. Because I'm always very respectful, always your honor. I, yes, I understand. You know, the whole, you want to be that respectful person. On the other hand, I've seen people kiss up to the judges, and that gets weird too. You know, where they're like, "Your honor, yes. your decisions are always so favorably and so so thoughtful." I, I mean, it's just beyond the pale, right? But yeah. I think the the root of the problem is that they're isolated there. They're with similarly pedigreed people. They don't, you know, they're not out in the real world 
living life anymore and you know they're, they're on mission you know they're they're yeah. you know so it, it's tough dealing with them I, I i can't think of the best thing about it other than to say there's some great judges there's some really bad judges there's some who tell you what they're thinking and sometimes that's not so great but then i'd rather hear it than have the ones who are real good at being neutral but then in fact they're just you know building their argument against your motion or whatever and not telling you not asking you like hey i don't believe that why should anybody believe that i'd rather hear that um so you know it's it's a mixed bag 